Hello guys, hello from India. Yes, I believe most of people on this group are already at the level they are speaking well nowadays. But uh, still, more than one lakh people in this group, or you know, I can see there are no much people are going live. It means the percentage of people they are more enjoying or they are more interested to join in group but not interested to improve their skill or their English so please <coughs> don't try to sleep when it comes to improve your speaking English. Anyhow, we are trying to, you know, not wake up our emotion. We are not trying to wake up our ideas that what we know, we are still not trying to bring out that outside. But believe me, the group, this group is very neat and clean group behind the scene they have their own you know chat group there they keep discussing about who is the person who are commenting something irrelevant to the group so that that person supposed to be blocked or such message is immediately removed from this group okay so now my question is uh, still how many of us or how many of you believe like you are still not able to be fluent in English? How many of us? Or if you have such question, it means you are not at the right pattern. You are not going rightly. Guys, there are two ways. One is my way or second is right way. So, the people who follow second, sorry, first, I don't know which one, but the right way always work. Right way always work, but my way work for some time. Work, my way work for a short time, not for longer. So, a stick with not short not my way stick with right way so again and again i repeat these two ideas yara sheet i believe uh, you know me and thanks thanks to asking so uh, still the people they are only interested they can't speak english or they cannot able to improve their ideas or improve their self because you know, interested means you are interested. Your interest may go down. But committed one are real people. They are... Hello, Kai Hong Young. Good, good, my friend. How, what about you? So, don't, you know, be in such categories that is for interested. Be in categories those categories they are committed so committed means they know like anyhow whatever will happen will happen but they will try or they will continue speaking english so like if you are still think or you are still thinking that you are not able to be fluent or you are getting challenged to be fluent it means you are not working seriously you are not committed or you are not on right track or you are not following right path so follow right path do all right things and see result is into your hand
Good night, good night. Take rest. It's time to take rest. I don't know which place you are from, but in India, it's you know time to sleep. But I don't know from which location you are. I am in Pakistan. Yeah, so almost there is already a uh, same time, not more different. So you may go for you know sleep. <laughs> So, uh, hey, he is my Hello. nephew. He is Hello. very talented guy. Hello, how are you? Bye, go for sleep. Don't wake up at late night. You know, go early to bed. Wake up early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, you know. My grandfather is Dalot. <laughs> okay, so uh, if if thank you, thanks, bye, bye, bye. Okay, uh, I believe they have gone. Anyway, uh, sometime internet connection plays an obstacle <clears throat> in between us. So yes, guys, you know uh, the psychological impact. What do I believe? The psychology or psychology or it's a big factor what does it mean I it with some example like whatever we think or whatever we see watch in whole day whole week you no. know or Hello, Mr. Latif. I'm fine. What about you? Mr. What I'm are also, you doing right now? Uh, I'm also fine, doing well. Yeah. I already checked you in Facebook. Are you know me? Yeah, I know, I know. Remember, uh, I think uh, 15 to 10 days before here. Yeah, of course, of course. Everything is right here in India. Uh, not right. Uh, but I I won't go. I don't want to go in some you know such uh, things. Basically, uh, I am very kind human, and things are not going well here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know that. I know that you are a positive mindset personality there. So I don't want to share these things, and what don't want to discuss these things. But uh, yeah. I want you to ask just some things. Because the situations of uh, after any attacks of, or any bombing, any suicide attack, the situation of the country is not good for the citizens also and as well as the other personalities. That's why I'm asking to you. Yeah, of course. It's not good for anybody. Any such people, yeah. they are involved in such activity. They are devil mind people, right? So uh, I don't yeah. like such people. Even not me, all citizen, all people, the you know, general people, the don't want such people in the world. So anyway, uh, because yeah. in this group we are here to learn English or to discuss yeah, about yeah. our progress or about you know anything that we face challenge. And yeah. hello, Miriam. Hi, hello, hello, Jiara. Thanks, thanks, my dear I friend. I want to ask you. I wanted to ask you some uh, tips. Uh, what are the tips for fluency in English? Uh, yes, uh, fluency. When it comes to fluency, means you know. Uh, suppose I would like to take some relevant example. You know, uh, there is a pot. Suppose think there is a pot, 
and that Water. pot is yeah pot and that pot is full of water right let yeah. me give example suppose this bottle yeah, yeah, I is understand. yeah and not an issue uh, i have something this bottle is full of water right if yeah yeah if i uh, you know make a small hole here so the yeah. drop of water will go on floor drop yeah. of water will go on floor but initially on yeah. floor we are not able to see much water but later on by you know going each drop on the floor we can see like the water is following some path it is going yeah. it is blowing on floor wherever it is yeah, falling yeah. the downside right so yeah. initially what does it means like we start speaking english like drop wise that is called continue yeah. process from easy to difficult yeah yeah you mean that from is, easy to difficult yeah that is called you know uh, consistency or persistency so if we maintain consistency the flow will start after dropping later on yeah. dropping 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 practice 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 drop after flow. drop uh, yeah man and perfect yes but when it comes to us or when it comes to be fluent we never be continue or if somebody is really continue or following persistency maintaining routine it means nobody will stop them or it is you know it is called process of learning so fluency yeah. nobody will stop this is what mm -hmm. i do believe and many people used to say like you know if you wish to be really fluent so half of your day mm -hmm. you have to use to speak what language you are wishing to or half day be at your local or your own language own mother tongue language so this is how the process if you follow or anybody follow you know knowledge will come automatically nobody will stop ashok i wanted to ask something more uh, is there any native speaker of english in this group Uh, yeah basically the admin of the creator of this group itself belong from um, united state of america yeah but the english uh, english of uh, our continent india uh, bangladesh and pakistan is uh, the britain one that's why we people have uh, having uh, facing uh, this type of problems that accent of american is totally different from the britain there is a quite different how we can manage it okay uh, very nice question i'm also in uh, i am also kind of victim or person who is following the same situation what you are you know feeling but yes what do i believe nowadays we have very you know good system so called smartphone and if you go on youtube you will find many native teacher they are posting daily or day to day you know n number of videos so what do i believe yeah, if we... imam yeah. imam yes yeah, yeah. imam m m m english is the youtube channel imam m from uh, australia okay no i'm not telling about any Alexander. individual yeah Alexander. no any individual there are so many video you can find what video you suit for or what video you you believe like okay this is better understanding to me we can follow that that's it so nowadays it is not the matter of thinking like how we will gain that once we have to be at good level of understanding effective communication or all the rules we know how to talk how to react how to act how to be public a speaker yeah. once we have grow, grab that you know level later on yeah. we have to think about you know how to speak like an american or british that comes at advanced level so people before starting the think like to talk like that it never happens we have to be at the level yeah. then we Because have we to try right. yeah yeah then we have to climb there Yeah. Okay, Muhammad Ali. I think Ali there is a question asked by Mohali. I want yeah, you to yeah. reply he, uh, her. Uh, 
pronunciation is uh, uh, there are different kinds of sounds uh, poly uh, phonetic and phonology is the subject which is used for the correction of uh, pronunciation there are 44 sounds of english words uh, total letters of english words is 26 i think but the sounds of english words are to, uh, 44 that's why you have to focus on the 44 sounds from any source uh, i will suggest you that the uh, imam from australia and uh, she can uh, teach you better in a better way for the pronunciation and your correction of grammar and uh, grammatically also and your vocabulary also increase from her videos that's why my suggestion is and my tips are that and ashok will suggest you much better than me uh, no uh... It is all right, you know, rule is rule, either you are interpreting about that, you are elaborating or about me. Doesn't matter. Rule is rule. But what do I believe if, yes, yeah. if, uh, when you are asking about pronunciation, so if you are fluent, again, my same suggestion, be fluent first. Once you are, you know, like fluent or you think like you have become fluent, later on, you have to practice about pronunciation. You have to go through vowel sound, diphthong sound, or consonant. Work on each sound. Yeah. Work on each alphabet. And later on, practice slowly. Mm -hmm. Don't try to grab yeah. at all in within short time. It doesn't happen. And many people, they give up. Yeah, it is not quite easy yeah. for each, uh, each and every one. Yeah, uh, it is not easy, but it's not impossible. If you try, keep yeah. trying, keep trying, automatically it will come into your mind or you will later realize like, yes, this is what I was trying to grab and this is what I am getting. It doesn't happen in short time, not like magic, but it is not impossible. Again, I'm repeating the same thing. Hello, Aslam Sheikh. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hello, Datta Saab. And uh, Taufik, hi. Hello, my rain is... Oh. So, yes, uh, this is how... You know, I have seen mm. many people... Please, guys, don't be, you know, psychologically impacted. Like, before being fluently yeah. in English, before being, you know, effective communicator, we are focus to pronunciation or we are focused to grab American or British accent. So yeah. no, it will come. It's not impossible, but try to be it communicator. Yeah. The meaning of language is not Ashok, like that. Uh, Ashok, I wanted to uh, share something more here. I am yeah. not a speaker of Urdu language and Punjabi languages of Pakistan also. There are a lot of languages here in our, our country. I'm from Gilgit Baltistan. That's why our language is totally okay. different from uh, our other cities of Pakistan. But I can okay. speak Pashto, Punjabi, Urdu as well, and uh, four different uh, languages of my area, Saraiki, uh, different languages, seven languages I can speak here. Uh, but uh, the main tip uh, and main my suggestion is, is you have to start from AZ. How are you? Uh, where are you going? What is your name? Uh, to start these things from basically, then you can achieve your goal. And after uh, after some time, you will achieve your fluency also. You can achieve your pronunciation also. If uh, from the starting point, you start the difficult thing, which is not able to getting by you, and then uh, you uh, will stick in these things that, oh man, I can't do these things. I can't do these things. I can't speak the language. I can't write these things. This is out of my uh, mind and uh, this is too difficult for me. And then uh, it is a boring lecture. for. It will be a boring lecture for you and uh, it is a disheartful stage for you. Then you have to start uh, from easy to difficult. After easy, com completing of the easy portion, the uh, difficult portion will be easy for you. This is my suggestion. Uh, yeah, uh, I completely agree, right? Uh, so, guys, uh, I would like to explain the, uh, these all things like what he has already conveyed. Suppose there are, you know, two or three roads 
that road are leading to the same destination where you have to go but one is very chaotic there are so many local market local stall so usually that road yeah. are always traffic jam full of traffic jam second is that yeah. that has some more distance but that is free of traffic right so now yeah. if you are following the that road that are going through market or there are so many people so many you know a small shop uh, shop or a stall there are kinds of people they are crossing the road some uh, a small cycle is going on motorcycle bike there are queues in that road so when you go through yeah. that road you have car so you have to you know again and again work on brake clutch accelerator brake clutch accelerator later on what will happen even you don't have cross halfway or you have given up like oh my god i can't go at the destination so what happened you taken u turn you come back to the same place where you were but even it was in your mind like yes one more road that is leading to the same place but that doesn't have such you know chaos that doesn't have such traffic so if you follow that yeah. you will reach even slow even you go slow you will reach that destination or you will enjoy the journey so here what he is trying to say is we are the one who knows how we have to get this achieved either by complex way like going halfway yeah. so most of people going to 30% of improvement or 40% they give up why so because they are following very complex rule they are not entertaining it and the people they they really they are committed to gain this they are going very simply like he told what is your name how are you how are you doing what's going on very simply yeah that is not complex very simple thing day to day what do we use we are doing that so that we are not even making it complex and we are getting base so once our yeah. base are ready once we know this road are not chaotic there is no traffic we are following slowly slowly not need to take more break not not suffocation not irritation not distraction yeah. so you will enjoy but if you are without starting thinking to have in good pronunciation or to are thinking to you know become very good accent it doesn't happen i i'm not telling anybody can do anything nowadays but what do we believe don't make it complex make it simple and follow that this is called psychological impact good morning lakshmi yeah, kaun ji i am i said that already i mentioned that word already that if you go through the perfection you you thought that you are thinking about that i am the perfect i start i have to speak each and everything perfectly that it is impossible for us because we are the native speaker we are not native speakers of the english language it is not quite easy for each and everyone and we people are not native speakers that we we can do many mistakes if you thought that i i am speaking in front of any person then how will they react with me what are the thinkings of that person about my speaking and my working and my what i am speaking here you think about the perfection that it is not not easy for us to speak perfectly and to do each and everything perfectly because there are a lot of mistakes a lot of things which are unable to getting each and every person that's why i am ignoring these perfections regarding speaking of any language for our language also and english also this is my suggestion for the perfection part yeah no uh, there is so many people they are struggling they are working hard they are working for 5 hours 6 hours 7 hours and they are making much and much improvement because they understand the possibility of knowing it they enjoy it 
they take interest they put their effort to gain action so so how they are getting they are not getting challenged they are not stucking so it depends if you wish you can if you are thinking making it complex but again comes at the level where you are very effective a speaker yeah. it doesn't mean you are having british or american accent but you have yeah. to ensure like what you speak the people get that easily they are able to understand whatever you are saying or your skill of being exchanged exchange means what you said people are getting that or what yeah. they are saying you are getting that this is the purpose of you know man. no uh, language yeah yeah this is the main but if you wanted to speak something in front of the per, uh, any person the, uh, your pronunciation and your age and everything is not clear in front of any person and the, then they uh, didn't clear their thing what they want what you are you wanting to uh, say them what are you wanting to convey the message your yeah. message is uh, incomplete for that person and uh, that is uh, not enough for uh, any conversation you have to clear each and everything at that time uh, it is quite uh, easy for you to convey your message to next person yeah yes okay uh, so uh, mr prince ali want to have some uh, conversation so i really appreciate you you are a great man given many example right we will be talking later yeah. too right we have a great friend yeah, yeah. so let let prince bring okay. here and, and listen something right keep listening yeah, yeah. right so le- okay. let him bring Thank thanks you. bye thanks to giving Thank time you. i i am really appreciating your all ideas you have great experience what did yeah. i get from your ideas right <laughs> thanks thank, thank you well. thanks so okay. prince take yeah him, sure take him on call sure sure okay. uh, thanks prince uh, i am just uh, taking you so that uh, don't mind uh, we all are here sometime we have to wait right let me bring you here if you are oh my god no answer from live video guest no prince i'm trying to bring you here but it is saying like no answer from live video guest so yes guys this is how you know the people comes in this group they go live i expect hello hello mr sam yeah hello how are you good good what about you are you laying down if you are please sit down i love okay. to be in, yeah because when we yeah sit, sure sure yeah it is very attentive right that nice nice so smart so yeah thank you so uh, what is your name alok alok yeah, thank you yeah, for connecting me uh, no no it's uh, you know i am not uh, uh, what you say superman or i am not super power <laughs> i'm like an individual like you like me so it's my uh, basically interest if somebody is lacking their confidence when it comes to speak fluently or when it comes to become fluent in english i try to be here i try to give some suggestion what i have followed and what i gives to my student whom i teach nowadays online so this is the same things i try to motivate them yeah one more thing guys please i miss some time to a share here only learning english is not you know uh, uh what can i say the sense or uh, the ideas include some emotional dream include some emotional dream so whenever you are lacking confidence whenever your energy or interest are going down at that time use that emotion touch so that will motivate you that will push you towards your target again and again yeah thank you sir actually uh, for motivating our our uh, us thank you and uh, okay actually uh, uh, let's introduce uh, each other like where are you from and what do you do because uh, first time i'm watching your live Okay uh, my name is Alok I live in New Delhi that is capital of India 
Uh, and, yeah, I know. And and I am an English teacher. Here I am teaching English, and I have developed some system that is the perfect way to learn English. Nowadays, people are going joining center learning, but that is not much effective because most of people are following the same old method. methodology system that are not giving okay. that much response so this is this is what i am yeah that's that's great so uh, if you uh, can say uh, in short like what is your method uh, how you follow uh, teaching okay i'm telling so, uh, when it comes to any student mind like i'm going to a study so at study itself like you know when you think a study it comes with burden your mind psychologically occupied or start thinking like oh my god i'm going to a study oh my god i'm going to a study it is not like that when we go to watch movie or some new released comedian movie we are excited oh i'm going to watch movie i know uh, there there must be some you know good story good climax good you know action good story what are you feeling at that time when you are going to watch a movie with your friend but just correlate both situation one you are going to a study second you are going to movie so the my method is if you are coming to me to learn english i am not going to give pressure i'm not going to give such things that yeah that will you know uh pressure you like you have to learn only under somebody pressure because i have learned i have you know taken many classes many center and i know the same methodology that's why i have developed like when you comes to me i'll try you to make some uh, you know laugh or i'll try no. you to take with some story very simple story i'll try you to you know give some idea relate with something so being with me you are occupied you are learning but you are not thinking like you are sitting somewhere in class or you are learning something sometime giving some motivation sometime giving some ideas sometime showing their future like if you do this how many opportunity or how many doors of opportunity are open to you or if you are not doing this what will happen with you so these all things basically when i combine these all things it becomes a very great system yes yes yeah exactly you are absolutely right and your thinking and method i support because nowadays you know uh, yeah you mention about like you compare two things movie and study yeah actually yeah. we used to do that that satisfied our mind and when we feel good and feel happy so we do that re- uh, repeatedly and frequently and when any student feel pressure about uh, his or her study and feel difficulties then the after after some time uh, he or she will uh, lost their motivation uh, you uh, pick that point yes and if you yeah. uh, i like your approach because if you can uh, make interesting uh, uh, learning so that time yeah we will uh, feel happy that yeah uh, excited that we will learn something and our mind also support uh, will support because you know uh, in school and college life uh, we uh, all uh, after some day that yeah we will uh, sit for a study we will sit a study table but you know uh, that next day and tomorrow never come okay <laughs> so after yeah. at last we we uh, study before exam night so be, uh, why because uh, when we uh, go to a uh, table go to a seat in the table for a study that time we feel lazy and uh, do not find uh, interest uh so that's that's the problem but when we uh think that yeah we will watch movie uh there will be fight romance and uh, that will satisfy our mind so that time we feel yeah we will be very easy relax we will just watch and see we don't have to do anything 
so if we can <coughs> learn anything by this way it will be very effective uh, <coughs> i think i like your uh, approach yeah, uh, so the, uh, okay yeah okay uh, i got some ideas when you are interpreting something and i went back to my life it's called flashback when we start thinking about our past flashback. so called flashback so i went flashback and i get some idea you know what yes. happens even you know the methodology or system of exam is like they set some question they set some question that question comes from your book itself except math physics chemistry that is part of you know uh, solving something the all subjects are logical logical means you don't have to you know learn all those topic you have to explore your mind your mind means in exam something comes from your book that is important piece of your subject so if you have mind if you have learned that once only or if you are really having open mind that is called open mind you can read you have ideas about two line about that subject so you can make that you know more than what that required what is the you know uh, maximum word or maximum sentence required against that that is that can be done you know very easily but now comes to the situation what happens we comes to you know to the examination hall and we comes with not the same mind that we have outside <clears throat> i'm giving you an example you must have seen globe the old map is mentioned over there name is written very small letter so when that globe is in a step position we can see all those things very easily all map all location name that is mentioned there but when we move that globe and it is moving a state a state we cannot read anything we can't read anything whatever is written what map is made on that same thing happens with a student before class when they are in relax mode they can know each and everything but when you go to exam hall your mind is not a stay your mind is like moving globe so whatever you know you lost that whatever you already knew <laughs> no or you can say you knew that at the time <laughs> if you knew <laughs> something you forget that so this is again the psychologically impact what do i believe yes yes i also support that you uh, we uh, we uh, like we fall uh, in that situation in exam uh, this is the thing because uh, you mentioned about the subject physics chemistry and math this is more than it's not for memorizing or just understanding it it actually depends on how we can think and how we can discover something new and make something uh, new so uh, yeah you are right then your example also uh, uh, very related i understand that so actually the like exam thing uh, I, uh, i i live in bangladesh so you know in exam the guardian student teacher they are all uh, feel fear <laughs> one kind of fear like yeah, yeah. Uh, when comes public exam i don't know why for this fear they lost the student of, of uh, fifth class eighth class and 10th class because we have public exam in this classes so when they appear in the exam actually they knew all the thing they covered all the thing in uh, whole year but they forgot because of that uh, unwanted pressure uh, yes actually yeah there should not be any pressure because they are studying exploring and they they have that uh, brain and knowledge all the thing but because of this pressure they forgot all the thing and ruin sometimes so uh, you are right and uh, i think in a study in exam and this kind of testing system there should not be any pressure 
any timing or any other thing because we uh, have to gather knowledge we don't have to just get good marks and good grades so yes, when we uh, uh, will study and uh, uh, learn something for just for learning something not for uh, great i think it uh, the that time it will be very effective for our personal development yes uh, let me uh, you know say hi hello to member lakshmi khan ji Comment, you have yeah. yeah you have mentioned many things i really appreciate you and we know nice person nice speaker thanks to joining here and uh, uh, i really appreciate like you have come here but one thing i can challenge or i can guarantee i don't know how do i speak how my pronunciation is and, and whatever i speak but whatever i speak that is 100% you know true or if you follow that you will gain much because these all things the gent comes by reading more of things comes by experience and more of things comes by reading great best seller book so if you follow that you know if you listen our conversation because we always talk about education the purpose of this group or to being here we do entertain we are not like you know sad mode or anything but we try to share some ideas that may help you like he said that when we appear at exam so more about to being here there we keep thinking about my relative like oh my god if this marks i'm not able to grab the relative will say oh what's nonsense you are not you know good student you didn't work hard what parent think so imagination of those all circle are moving our mind our mind is not a stay what we have yes. to think at the time we are not thinking that but what we don't have to think that all things have occupied our mind that makes us obscuring not able to clear clarity is not there hello yes Debbie. yeah you are right in in exam uh, we have to use our brain like if we just uh, use 60% brain for just for <laughs> tension and you mention about that yeah fear what will happen if we uh, get less mark so that time we cannot uh, we will not able to solve the problem uh, this is uh, this uh, thing we have to uh, make sure that we we can use 100% uh, of our brain just for only problems there will be no pressure i think and uh you mentioned about this group yeah actually this is the important part because we can earn something from book and from maybe academics uh lectures but you know this is the interesting thing that yeah we are entertaining and also learning something and sharing our knowledge like you were living in india i'm living uh abroad but my motherland in, in uh, is in bangladesh so we are, we are able to uh, share our knowledge and you mention about something and that is very uh, new for me and also important so that is the best thing of that uh, group or any online platform i think yeah hello debi hi thanks to being here uh, yeah of course uh, so uh, uh, basically we are on the same you know uh platform or discussing about education but uh because this uh, group is completely for english so i would like to hear something from you like you know you must have gone through many exercise or you must have gone through many challenge or given many time to learn english so just share your ideas you know i know all people have their own experience so that experience if we collect if we listen you know we make more experience we gain more ideas or we make you know uh, we gain more confidence so please say something about how did you comes across the english what were those things that you know comes into your mind or you start thinking or you are speaking well yes sure 
uh yeah you are right that everybody have their uh, own experience and their own unique method for learning something and for me also actually um uh, uh you know i learn english from my school life and college but that was just for exams and academics but after that after my uh, uh school i mean 10th grade uh after uh, uh, publishing my result i admitted uh, in a institution for uh, speaking course like speaking and okay. some other thing so the, from there i started going language club and uh, also uh, inspire uh, for learning english so after that um, uh, i uh, uh, i talk with people from uh, in online and also but when i uh, started my university uh, life class so that time i uh, feel that i have to learn english properly and uh, able to uh, improve my communication skill because all the thing in my university <coughs> is in english so i had to learn so that time i started learning but you know i never Uh, i learn uh, study grammar for academics but uh, never uh, memorize them you know but all i learn uh, from people like talking and sometimes reading a story book and english literature by this way i learn many things in english and uh, pra- uh, speaking it's all uh, about uh, for my uh, online talking and conversation so i think if uh, it depends on practice everybody uh, say that because if we uh, can practice properly regularly uh, yeah uh, we will learn because it's all about language so we learn our mother language just by uh, interacting with uh, surrounding people so i also believe that we can also learn another language by just uh, interacting and uh, make conversation with other so uh, yeah there's a thing and uh, all the time i um, maintain uh, one thing when we uh, when i uh, talk with a person or any uh, like live live video that yeah we should maintain one topic uh, that will also uh, increase our knowledge about a particular topic and it will also help organizing uh, organize the speech uh, how can we deliver so this is how i learned and you know uh, uh, i also uh, sometime i uh, read books english books uh, english literature like now i'm reading alchemist so this very nice book um, and yeah this is my all experience i think And okay so so al- alchemist is the same a story the person who has wish to uh, you know go to all around the world and you know walk all around the world but he doesn't have money so uh, he has some plan he go with some ship or he uh, sold that ship actually he is a shepherd shepherd and yeah, he yes, is a yes. uh, Uh, traveling the world be, uh, he, actually his main target is to go in pyramid like in misur because he uh, uh, his destiny is misur because there he will find some treasure so for yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he finding he, this treasure yeah, he travels yeah. he is following his dream right he is following some yeah, dream yeah. so but uh, by the journey he met with some uh, different person who is of the same you know Uh, same trip or both met with each other and they decided something there is so you know i, I know that story that is very great book very nice story yes, or you know yes. you you get entertainment sometime you start laughing by you know reading that story nice book yeah and, and there there are so many sentences about uh, the like real world and and this book uh, actually talk about experiences this shepherd uh, gathering experiences he is learning the language of human lang- language of world so by this way and there i liked one line um, i think 
uh, this line also used in hindi movie uh, in Sh- of sharuk khan uh, you know well i think uh, that is uh, mm. when you want something from your heart uh, <laughs> all the world will conspire to get yes, it yes uh, yes so can you yeah. can you can you uh, say uh, say <laughs> it in hindi i think you know uh, that this dialogue uh i know but uh, most of people they didn't get that whatever i'll you know say but that is very you know uh, very base or very nicely predicted in hindi but uh, i i get that sense but all you know word wise all sentence wise i didn't uh, i'm not able to interpret or expose okay, okay. but but the thing is that when you start to thinking anything whole word comes in a team to make that all resource available for you right yeah yeah so this yes. is how, uh, this is how and that is obviously in even in movie they get something from important fact or important you know books or somewhere yes yes actually i didn't know that before when i start reading that book uh, i was that movie maybe four or five years ago but now i come to know that yeah maybe they taken this things from this book and if i and this book published many years ago so if i read that book uh, i um, i would find uh, interest in uh, much much interested so uh, you know that uh, when i uh, read that line i was surprised and because the the writer also used that line many times in the, that book uh, because after uh, some period when he uh, were in the desert uh, that time also the boy realized that yeah if he, he uh, wants something uh, all all the wall, walls and the surrounding helps uh, helps them uh make that happen actually so uh, you know uh, we can also gather knowledge and make uh, experience from book like uh, you know everybody uh, will not able to go and travel the whole world but if we can just read something uh, from their experiences we will uh, we will even uh, know something and uh like we will sometimes experience that I yes uh, yeah so one minute uh, mr uh, shred nasir shah he is asking like how we can improve my vocabulary so this is how we are discussing read some book while book going through some story you find some unknown vocabulary mark that underline that or write that you know uh, vocabulary into your own personal notebook with your own language mm-hmm. right so that later on when that words comes anywhere it will come all sudden your mind so this is how we can make you know uh, a bank of vocabulary but yes many people they do what they go or buy some dictionary and try to learning all those vocabulary that is not right way you cannot make all those things into your mind you can't retain that much of vocabulary but if anything you read somewhere or that is mentioned throughout some story that is mentioned in sentence so that a story is going through some imagination giving some you know uh, knowledge giving some uh, something exploring about something so that time that words are important to make that complete the sentence or sense so once you learn that it comes automatically into your mind so that that is how you can you know make more bank of vocabulary what do i believe but there may be some other ways there may be some other you know tactics other logic other ideas but what do i believe and what i used to do this is what i try to tell you yes you are right i also uh, follow some uh, techniques for uh, like memorizing vocabulary actually i i do not usually memorize them when mm-hmm. i uh, find any word uh, while i am reading something i just look for the meaning in dictionary uh, and also if 
uh, but there is a problem if we want uh, to uh, read any uh, book, whole book, but if we just uh, frequently search the meaning in dictionary, we will lo lose our interest uh, to read that book. So that's why I underline them. So after five pages, after reading five pages, I search them and write in my notebook. So then yeah. I, uh, I again, I read read that text. So by this way, I learn uh, vocabulary. But if we just randomly memorize yeah. the vocabulary from a vocabulary book, that will not help uh, oh. us, I think. Yeah. Yes. That and, come. Uh, actually, yeah. Yes. Yeah. One thing. Please. Do you know Debbie Debra? Debbie yeah, Debra? I know her. I know. I know her. Okay. Well, he write uh, wrote some comments, so I want to just no, read no, some uh, because... no, no. He no he. That is she. She. Yeah, she. <laughs> she. Sorry. She. Yeah. She wrote some comments like about me. Like uh, she's saying, uh, "You looks mature with uh, most mustaches." Okay, thank you. <laughs> like she is talking about my mustache. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah, right. Because that is important dialogue of Shahrukh Shahrukh Khan. Yes, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, so that guys, is very popular dialogue of Shahrukh Khan. Yeah, that's very popular, and it it has gained many popularity. One word is there, like he has garnered. You know the word meaning garner. He has garnered much appreciation with this dialogue of this movie. Uh, okay, garner. Can you clarify the word? I uh, maybe I don't know. Ga yeah, garner means uh, to receive many things in the sense of appreciation. Suppose I done five great things, and people are saying, "Oh my God, good, good people. Yeah, he has done good. Good man, you have done good. Your performance is good." So it means I am garnering appreciation. Okay. Okay. Ga right. Gathering or getting, getting appreciation. Yeah. Actually, like... you know, in in English, for one sense, there is some suitable or particular word, right? You must know that. So for that sense, the garner is the well uh, word that is very much suitable. So go write it down today. Find in dictionary, Google, and. Just type in Google like make sentence with Gardner. So you will find five, four, uh, or uh, more over that sentence. So you will get it very easily. Yeah, I, I will start. Yeah. So he has Gardner many appreciation by that dialogue. Uh, yes, and he is also my favorite actor in Bollywood. Okay. Okay, so uh, I think um, we can uh, give uh, someone else uh, to uh, chance to uh, yeah, of course. come online. Yeah, of course. Of course, no, no doubt. That's great. That's great idea. Uh, so, uh, guys, I believe uh, uh, he has shared many ideas or basically whenever anybody comes with me, my main motive or my main focus to bring all those experience of that guys who is speaking English fluently. So when he says something about his past experience or the journey, not journey, in between his starting or his destination, in between what happens, if you listen very practically, so we gain many things or we try to correlate with our journey. We try to correlate with our journey or gain many ideas mm -hmm or many connected things that we have to follow. We have to make chain so that we are not going to give any gap or we are not going to lose our interest. If we are speaking today, it means we have gone through all those things we are doing daily basis or we are making that more effective. But yes, by maintaining persistency or maintaining consistency, we continue make more commitment. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Uh, consistency and regularity is very important for learning English. You're right. Yes. Yeah, we know you have okay. written a uh, very nice, right. Okay. Uh, w one more question. One more question. So when, yeah, you sure, join, sure. Yeah, when you join at the center to take your class to improve or to uh, speak English, so how many people or how many students were joined with you in your batch? 
okay uh, so uh, the whole experience was like that after completing uh, after getting getting result there were a batch of the uh, like all were the uh, my same age so there were maybe uh, 30 30 student uh, from but uh, some people were uh, like aged they're uh, they're in job they're doing job and few few were like uh, like me there is student so uh, that time uh, i enjoyed with uh, with them and also actually there were three months course so uh, uh, i completed that course uh, and also there that time uh, they took uh, took a test also so okay. no no, no. Uh, actually uh, i i i have some uh, thing that i want to know like how many people mm-hmm. how many student how many candidate were taking class while you were taking i mean in your batch how many people were there they were going to learn english okay there were 30 30 okay okay 30, okay, 30. in that 30 mm-hmm. you must be having some idea like how many of those after completing the class nowadays speak in english fluently like you how many of those just random idea I not think... actual yeah uh, yeah not exactly because it's not possible <laughs> because i don't yeah. have contact with them uh, but uh, you okay. know there uh, there 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 were some people that i have contact still now uh, i think two or three people are now doing well and some other uh, they don't uh, have to like they just uh, uh, become busy with their another job and i think but they are not regular so that's why they lost their fluency but that yes. time they were doing good but yes. uh, i yes. think yeah but uh, one of my friend sometimes we go uh, that in language club because you know they are providing lifetime language club opportunity so when we uh, go there after long break yeah you know uh, if they are not uh, practicing so that time they do not uh, uh, <coughs> able to say anything and sometimes happens to me also yeah so that class was for uh, how many months how much period mm, mm, three months three months okay 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 basically i want for writing and one month for okay. speaking yeah uh, basically i would like to have some ideas like as per me only 80% of student are able nowadays to communicate effectively other you know 20% other 80% are not so what yes, do you come, i yeah. think so okay so that that is why i would like to know about that you know uh, uh, situation so said okay. nasir again saying like in english uh, one wo- one word have <coughs> okay he must be writing different so mistakenly he has written something written something different uses therefore it's difficult to memorize yeah said uh, you are saying right but once you start to speaking using these all things you will believe like there are certain vocabulary that we use in day to day you know uh, life or that helps us to interpret all those idea so that is how once you are started to working on that it will comes very easily or you know like which word i have to use <laughs> yeah we know uh, you are right like uh, only 5 6 student oh my god you are going beyond my experience or beyond my thought he is right he is right it means only 5 yeah. or 6% of people i was telling 80% yeah, yeah, yeah actually was... it depends one institution you know there there are some institution they just uh, taking a student uh, for the course but when they started they do not finish uh, well and they also uh, do not uh, serious about uh, like particular student so that in that case uh, he is right that five or six student achieve fluency because uh, some institution are commercial so that time these things happen yeah of course people are making business people are trying to you know save money in their pocket or so uh, they are not more concerned about your future 
so uh, finally you are the one who are responsible who are or who have to think about your future about your strategy about your ideas nobody will come or say you like this is not good or this is not good so thanks to joining uh, thanks to answering all this question right it will help to more people who will watch this video later on because these all are as in recorded so this will definitely help to other people so thanks to joining i appreciate you and i really appreciate those all people they are listening or they are enjoying this conversation right see you later it's time to go to bed not more late yes. but it's around yeah it is around uh, 2135 pm so yes it's almost time to go sleep right okay so thank you also for uh, talking with me um, sure sure see sure. you okay bye thanks bye we know not on institution but it depends on learner prior. yeah yeah that, that's right that's right so thanks guys let me allow to go see you again bye bye